So in this video, we are going to see how to produce video from PowerPoint. Creating video from PowerPoint means exporting video with PowerPoint as the tool. We are not going to talk about inserting videos inside PowerPoint and showing them on the slides. There are two steps involved. First is to get the video or create the video and then export it as video. Why do I say get? Because you can create video from scratch by recording what is happening on the screen. Or you can take an existing presentation, add narration, annotation and webcam video if you want and also create a video. Finally, you can just export it as mp4 or upload it to a special streaming service called Stream. So let's get started. When you want to do any screen recording, you go to a new slide. Typically, you do this for showing some kind of software and how to use it. So I'm going to show you how to use OneNote calculator. So I keep that window open, then come back to PowerPoint, create a new slide. Here I go to the Insert tab, and you will notice we have screen recording. The moment you do that, it asks you to select the area. You can select full screen if you want. I'm going to select a small area. You choose whether audio is to be recorded or not. And do you want to record the pointer? And then you choose record. It shows you a countdown like this. You don't have to really remember that shortcut. Don't worry. Now, let me show you how OneNote calculator works. So when you type something, OneNote understands mathematical calculations. So let's do some simple one. We can also do some complex ones. So this is OneNote calculator. Now when you finish the recording, how do you stop it? Of course, there is a shortcut, but don't worry about that. Just take your mouse cursor and touch the top edge of the screen. And from here now you can stop it. When you go back to PowerPoint, you will notice that this whole recording has been inserted as a video here. If you wanted it that way, if you want it to be a part of this PPT, it's already done. You just adjust the playback settings and you are good to go. If you want this video independent of PowerPoint, no problem. Right click on the video and then choose Save Media As. And now you get an MP4 file which you can use anywhere. The other way of creating videos from PowerPoint is to use an existing presentation. I have a three slide presentation. I want to talk about each slide, explain what is shown there, maybe draw some stuff or annotate while I am showing it and also record my webcam. All these three things I can do by going to slideshow menu and choose record slideshow. So now it goes into full screen mode and if you want you can enable the webcam. There are settings here which allow you to choose the microphone and the camera. At the bottom this is a little confusing. This means record mic, yes, no. This means record video, yes, no. And the third one is while you are doing this recording, do you want the camera preview on or not? So I'm going to shut off the camera preview. Now I'm going to start recording by clicking on this red button. It shows you a countdown and then you go ahead. So this is just a title slide. Now remember when you are switching the slide, take a pause otherwise the audio will get cut off. This is the second slide and here I want to take a pen, choose the color and I can draw some stuff. This is ink and it is going to get replayed when you show this later. And of course, this is the last slide. Now I have finished. So I click on the stop button. 
when I come back by closing this. Now you'll notice that these three slides have been given a timing. Depending on how long I spoke for each slide, the timing is automatically adjusted. And now, when I run the presentation, make sure presentation is running with use timings if present, which is the default. So it will automatically run, it will play, and it will show my video and audio. Now all this is still a PPT. This itself is a good format to work for creating content if you want to deliver it as PPT. But let's say you want to convert this whole thing to a video. No problem. All that you have to do is go to File Export. And in the Export menu, we have a Create Video option. You'll notice that this can go all the way up to 4K if required. Of course, the file size will be large. And because we have recorded timings and narrations, these will be used automatically. There is still a setting called second spend on each slide because sometimes a particular slide may not have timings, in which case by default it will be shown for 5 seconds. Having done all this, you just click on the create video button and finally you will get the entire PPT converted to an MP4 file which you can use anywhere else. The other option we have is if you have Office 365, you get a nice streaming server. There, you can directly convert this to a video and upload it there. If you want, you can also upload PowerPoint along with the video. If you want to refine the way the stream video will be visible and accessible to people, you can always go to stream and edit other settings. So that is how you create videos from PowerPoint. Recently, a new option has been added Called create animated GIF, but be careful, large full screen long GIFs can be very, very heavy files. Having said that, you can always create a custom presentation with very small screen size and convert it to animated GIF. What is the benefit? All the features of PowerPoint will be available to you to create memes, animated GIFs, and nice looking logos. So that's it. Thank you. See you next time.